はい。Hey, we live? We live. Hey, y'all, man, look, they doing everything in their possibility to stop this. I'm telling you, bro. We live. Oh, we live. Okay. Hey, y'all. Give me a second, man. Hold up. Let me get back on Zoom. Got it. All right, let's see. Okay. We got to do this off of M. Hey, this dude there, I got to cut his background out, bro. Man, I'm telling you, bro. Hey, today... Just now, on the way back to the house, somebody hit us in the back, man. I don't even know if I'm... I can't even see the chat or nothing. Man. Hey, we're waiting on Raw and... Uh, hold up. I can't even tell. Like, I, the Zoom, I don't even know how to work it no more, really. I didn't get a chance, man. This is this is I'm telling you, bro. And guess who guess who hit me in the back? Some Native Americans. Well, so-called five dollar Indians. Yeah, bro. Man. Oh, man, this is this this is they trying to stop us. Somebody doing some kind of alchemy. Like how I get hit in the back by some five dollar Indians. Yeah, I'm telling you, literally. Can you hear me, Rod? Hold on. Can you hear me? Oh yeah, let me make uh, the Empress the host. All right. Hold on. Okay. Is we broadcasting? Yeah, we broadcasting live right now, man. It's it's it's, it's on live. Oh, uh, let me make sure. Yeah, this Zoom thing, you know, we used to do on the on the. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, we live. Hey, man, yeah, I got just got hit from the back on the way coming right at seven twenty. About to really pull up at the house and got hit in the back by some five dollar Indians, and they literally was they literally was from the Hopi tribe. Well, that's what they said. I'm like, man, how the hell these girl, these people hit me in the back at the light, man? Right when I'm about to come set up for the show. I was just telling uh, Empress the obstacle is the way. Yeah, we was looking for an obstacle to confirm that we exactly following the right path. Right. So, um, in the uh, process. We get to go through um, a resistance to what we're trying to do because without no resistance, then there can be no progress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So we had to delay the interruptions. Right. All of that stuff was to tell us that they can't stop what's coming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think. Uh, I think uh, the Empress guy went out. Okay, maybe she should come back in. Because I think her stuff was muted. You got to um, unmute her as soon as she come in. I got her. I got her. Yeah, man. It seems like, why, how do I get hit by $5 Indians? And then I I'm saying to them, man, I got to do this show. Like, just give me whatever, whatever, and I'll fix this shit myself. And let me go, right? I don't want to wait on the, 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 uh, the public service. I don't want to wait on them. Uh, like I got insurance, all it, but I don't want to wait. Just do this because I got to get right here on this show. This is the biggest show. And then, so they were like, no, nah, we want to wait on the police. We want to wait. And the police took forever. Them niggas passed by three, four times before they even stopped the, the, the city right there. I'm sitting in my truck again. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, then the motherfucker, the, the five dollar Indians pull off. The police made me wait there because I got to get my insurance off of email. So I'm still sitting there. Look, let's go and get started, Elders. Yeah, I'm waiting on our chief to come back in, Empress. Because I don't see it right now. Yeah. Well, I could be laying the foundation go ahead, go ahead, while, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. while we while we waiting. Um, yeah. did you, you ain't have a chance to cut those clips up, did you? I got the clips, but I ain't have a chance to cut them up or slide to my phone because my phone went charge up all day. I'm telling you, man, like this thing. I know. It, like my phone won't charge right now. So, like I'm trying to charge it. So look, I'm gonna go over a little bit uh, of background that's gonna lead up to. Um, us introducing the empress to everybody. Okay, all right, go ahead. All right, so um, we know we had to follow a process as the collective tribes across the land to recover every... Hold on, why I muted? Hey, Raw, I'll mute your mic real quick. Hold up. Okay, all right. I'll mute your mic, Raw. What the hell? Um, she. Why is it not letting my heart talk? Hey, can you hear me, Rod? I I can hear you now. Okay, yeah, I can hear you. Okay, all right. So what's going? On? Like, okay, go ahead. Okay. Um. We got people that's muted. We got to try to unmute them. Um, Dr. Which one is the uh, Empress? Which one is the Empress? I don't see. I don't see her. Yeah, it's like uh, Dr. Sildress. I don't know. Who, like, is it Black Bear? Hold yeah, on. Black, yeah, you can let Black Bear in. He, uh, he the marshal. Okay. All right, she says she's coming back shortly. Oh, okay. She ain't back here. Okay. Hey, Rob, bye to everybody that's in the building, to all the chiefs. Uh, shout out to Doc, Dr. Shipman. Uh, if you want to say something, you can unmute. Go ahead, Rod, and you can go ahead and finish what you was doing. Okay, so um, in the on the land, we had to first have all of the organic tribes, the original tribes, making treaties with each other so that they can all move as a collective unit, right? So we had the Million Man March, which brought all of the chiefs together under the cover of protest, right? So from there, a lot of things has taken place with the enemy trying to claim the land and we were still in the process of all of the clans uh, forming these treaties so that we can end this thing called America, right? Hold on one second. My bad, my bad, I didn't interrupt you. On February 12th, I'm gonna come through and make some tape. Yeah, let me, um, I'm gonna do this on holiday. So um, in the process, it's called the redemption process. One of the chiefs who got the blood in the rights, had to come from the grassroots level and expose to the public the receipts that verifies the legal fiction status on the land as a de facto government, right? So I'm collecting all these receipts from all of the other elders as they dropping them, right? So nobody don't know what they mean yet, but they for us to reclaim the land, right? So they call, I got the knock on the Wind Talker channel. When I say Wind Talker channel, this is where all of the um, chiefs is psychically connected through the matriarchal network, right? So when we connect through the women, then we able to make alliances um, telepathically and communicate what moves to make next. So in the communication, I learned to read the codes from the code talkers. This is my birthright. 
I have to learn all this stuff. So in 2018, I start uh, doing uh, public disclosures of what was going on and how we was reclaiming the land. A lot of people didn't understand it in the early days, but the contract finally came to an end on July the 4th, 2019. This was put on display in a, a Republican uh, debate with Donald Trump where they didn't have any American flags flying in the background. You can look it up. It's the July 4th, 2019 Republican debate. The reason there was no U.S. flags flying, it was to alert the clans that the contract was up and we got 72 hours. One of us, they got the blood and the rights to cancel all contracts at the close of the age as part of preparing to bring back the matriarchy and restore the great law, right? And put the great mother back on her seat. Now, I waited till July the 6th to see if any of the other chiefs would know what to do. I didn't see any chiefs closing the contract. And since I had the blood and the right, I canceled all of the treaties for fraud, and what they call non-performance in law. That mean they never honored them. They did never do what they said they was gonna do as the caretaker of the people. Instead, they did the exact opposite and enslaved the nations, right? So the response to me verbally following the oral tradition of the tribes, issuing the order of to to cancel all of their treaties, they then responded on the 19th by contacting the Empress Rarebird to give her the paperwork that confirms the work that I did on July the 4th. Now, at the time, I don't know that they every time I'm following the oral tradition of the tribes and making it known to the public that they giving her the paperwork that matches the um, tribal work that I'm doing, disclosing the legal fiction to uh, our people and exposing to them a, a, a conscious plan that we was following to put the tribes back in control of the land. Right? Now, we bring... Empress Rarebird, because this is the mother of all tribes and mother of all lodges. We had to take over everything that was trying to conquer us. And who was trying to conquer us was those foreign agents, right? So um, when the foundational documents that the legal fiction was built on is canceled, right? What that does is all of the other things that was built up on it is also canceled because that's called fruit of the poison tree doctrine in law. So when you cancel the foundational document, none of the other documents have any uh, standing or anything to stand on as they foundation. Right. So we seen Sipico put the Pope on notice in the public domain following the oral traditions of the tribes. And she also informed him that the chiefs have been selected across the land and we will follow no law but the great law. And um, to govern themselves accordingly. His response to her approximately two weeks later would be to rescind the discovery doctrine. To re the discovery doctrine is the foundational instrument in which all the European colonization was founded. It was to execute what was known as the white man's burden to civilize the world by converting them to Christianity. The other two religions are support religions for the Christian religion. 
these are social control measures under the pretense of spiritual um, refuge, right? So we were being defrauded. And in order for us to get what's rightfully ours back, one of the chiefs has to follow the entire redemption process until the mother of the land, the mother of the people, the direct matriarchal descendant, make herself known to the what they call the widow's son, Hiram Abiff. Right? And when this is done, then he follows her direction as the embodiment of the great mother to inform all of the clans of basically the lay of the land, what's going on on the land, what's going on with the people. Right? So as I gave verbal instructions, they gave her documentation that verified uh, us reclaiming the land from the legal fiction known as the United States. Right? Now, we at the uh, uh, precipice, we at the breakthrough point where we put on public notice that the queen mother is here, the empress is here, and she's asserting her jurisdictional authority over the entirety of the land without respect as a person, not compromising nor negotiating what's rightfully hers by blood and by right. My job is to make the way so that when she come, I beat and produce so many receipts that they have to know that I know what I'm talking about when I tell them who the empress is and that we raise in the matriarchy by putting her in her proper position as the matriarch across the land. The earth is divided into 12 regions and in the 13th seat is reserved for one we call the great mother. And this is the realization and actualization of the restoration of the great mother and the great matriarchy reclaiming the right to assert the great law across the land and to call forth all chiefs to be made known to the clans. And all high chiefs must come forth and any of them that's held in abeyance by the legal fiction in the form of bondage has to be brought forth without exception. They know who they are, but the Empress right now needs her number one assistant, Dr. Malachi Z. York, because it is his name that's with her name in the foundational documents recovered to restore the land. The tribes must be made aware of this. And this is why we're here today to introduce y'all to the great mother. And as soon as she come back in, we're going to give her the flow. So anybody else want to speak before she, before she come back in, have anything they want to say? Black Bear? All you got to do is unmute. Chief Ima. Greetings, peace, love, and light. I am so honored and highly elated to see this being executed, and I give thanks. It has been a long time coming, and I see the shift, I see the change, and may our ancestors continue to cloak us as we continue to do the work. Ashe, love, and light, and peace. Ashe, Ashe. Yeah. So for all of the clans, this is a this is a like the the nuclear bomb of reclaiming our shit. This is the one that they didn't never think we would be wise enough to put the puzzle together to get us here. But here we is presenting the great mother to the people once again for all righteousness to be restored on Earth. This has been an ongoing process and there's been a lot of things being done behind the scenes 
and under the cloak of political satire. Theatrical performance in the name of politics so that the sheep people, the go along to get alongs, will think it's business as usual. And all of the time, the chiefs of the tribes are making alliances to liberate each other from the belly of the beast. This is where we at. So now that we didn't conquer the beast, it's safe to bring the great mother out and allow her to be shown to the public and to prove her point as to who she is. Right? This is non-negotiable. They are aware of this. And they can take this as public notice to the DOD, to the Federal Bureau of Prisons, and the Continuity of Government team in Raven Rock, Colorado. Notice the agent is notice the principal. Putting it in the public domain makes it active. The standard for public domain is it has to be time-stamped, archivable format that can be recovered and verified by digital performance in this age. In other words, all forms of social media is valid for a public notice in that all social media posts are time-stamped and dated in an archivable format where you can pull them back up at any given time. And it also has to be able to have a reach further than a thousand people, right? And once the is put in the public domain, it's following the oral traditions of the tribes to make the other tribesmen aware of the movement of the clans on the land. All of them not going to pay attention at first. But hindsight 2020, and when they go back and review the public record, They'll find that everything that I did to reclaim something according to the tribal tradition, they gave the empress the paperwork to verify it. Right? We know that they had holding chiefs under COINTELPRO as political prisoners as the record had already been revealed and shown to the public. Right? And so... We know that Malachi was one of the fastest rising chiefs on the land, and he was making moves that nobody else was making in nation building, restructuring his tribe and restoring his tribal traditions, even when they gave him mess direction and told him we was from Africa. He went and did his African research, but his motherland brought him back home. And this is what we all resting on, our motherland, because all land rights, according to tribal tradition, is only inherited through the motherland, right? So the patriarchal rogue patriarchs, they use paperwork to give the false impression that they own the land. When they can't own the land, we don't believe in selling the land. And if they told you a chief signed a treaty to sell the land, they was not one of us. They was an imposter or an invader masquerading as us because they made chiefs chief by presidential order for the explicit purpose of signing treaty as um, the people of the land and they was frauds the whole time. You can't have a chief by presidential decree. The chief had to earn his right and position through being exposed to the people of his land. And with all that being said, if the Empress is ready, I want to give her the flow. The Empress, I don't think she came back in yet because I don't see her. came back in. Yeah. I don't see her yet. I just see. There she go. Okay. You see it? So allow me to introduce y'all to the Grand Matriarch of the land, the Grand Matriarch oh, of the right planet. Here. Hold on. Let me make her the host. <laughs> Empress Chief Rarebird. The mother of us all. There we go. Love it. Love and light. Can you hear me? We can hear you loud and clear. Perfect. Love and light. Love and light. It's been a challenge for everybody today for this historic moment. I, I, I want to do a few things before we get started to honor our ancestors. So I'm going to.
I don't know if you guys will be able to hear my singing bowl, but I'm I'm glad to be here uh, to uh, share with you uh, nothing but love. No drama tonight. OK, everybody, uh, I have to stay in love so that we can transition into that mode. So no cussing and no cussing nobody out and all that. I'm the only one can cuss tonight. All right. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> all right. So let me go ahead and do the singing bowls. Can you see me? Mm-hmm. We can't hear you, Empress. Can you hear that? Yep. It went back to low. Hey, can y'all hear anything? Because it sounds like she's still muted, I think. No, can't hear the bowls. Okay, well. I hear your voice, though. I wonder why we can't hear the bowls. Um, I have no idea, but at least at least we know we've put it in the atmosphere. How about that? Okay. Yeah. Can you hear? Can you? Right. All right. Sorry, you my apologies that you couldn't hear the bowl, but uh, it's, it's already in the atmosphere. Um, I want to read a, uh, a statement uh, now, and then uh, we're going to uh, get into a few things here. Um, let me pull up. My son, Chief Pontiac, helped me with a few things. So I'm trying to pull this up quickly to read. No, I'm cool right now.
It look like uh, it look like you're the only one showing on the um. Okay. Oh, Am okay. I... Yeah, I'm oh, sharing my screen. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Okay, great. I'm trying to get pull up when I'm supposed to. You all know that there are obstacles in our way that we're supposed to press through uh, to uh, to get this done. So uh, I don't know why uh, my Word document that I prepared uh, to uh, speak about is not pulling up, but I'm going to try to pull it up one more time. The obstacle is the way. If you don't have no resistance, you ain't making no progress. <laughs> I'm going to keep going. Y'all know me. Mama always uh, prevails through everything. She'll bring that food back uh, to her to her children. And I want to feed you all tonight. And I'm just going to pull it up on my uh, on my phone this part of it anyway. Right. Okay, son. Okay, here we go. And following the oral tradition, uh, this must be statement must be read. It says greetings all. I am Empress Chakra Rarebird, as you know, the mother of all clans, of all lodges. Let it all, let all my sons, raised and passed, stand at the attention. I am the widow, returned from the shrine, along with my son, whom the lodges call Hira Abif. We come to you in solidarity and peace, showing no respect of a person, no big eyes and no little yous. There are all, there all, there are all over 5,000 tribes of Turtle Island. There are five civilized tribes whom were under treaty and agreement with the colonizers, whom my son has served notice according to the original constitution of the Iroquois Confederation, Article 77, we, the United Tribes of Turtle Island, hereby reclaim in totality all lands, accounts, and any other holdings of the organic tribe of the land according to the great law under direction of myself, the Empress, and the direct Mito Kadro, descendant of the first mother, asserting my jurisdiction to restore the land, the people, and nature to proper balance at this dawning of the new age called the age of Aquarius. A new age of prosperity and peace. This is the great awakening and a clarion call to all chiefs, all chiefs to make themselves known to the tribes. All chiefs held in captivity by the legal fiction are to be released immediately 
to full, fulfill their tribal duties to the clans across the land. The following discourse of myself is to read into the public record according to the oral tradition and fulfillment of tribal law, the papers concealed by the settlers to maintain a national system of servitude belligerent to us as a people to reconstitute our sovereign jurisdiction as a collective unified tribal network. In regards to Chief Pontiac, Rod Hayes, whom followed the oral tradition of redemption of the tribes whom placed on public record, according to the oral tradition, the claim by which calls to be surrendered to myself, the documents that verify blood and rights of the people and the true heirs to the claim and redemption of Turtle Island, a process called in the lodges, not to the not, not to a not, tit for tat, not for me, and I'm not back. I say, I say, I say, I say, I say, I say, Let's do a little uh, house uh, keeping first. So let me stop sharing my screen for a minute. Now, those of you all that are uh, uh, on um, the uh, call, wherever you are, I want to say that uh, I am uh, Her Excellency, Her Royal Highness, Empress Chakra Rare Bird Negri. Okay, holder of the allodial title, the deeds to the land, and I hold the seats for all tribal nations. And I have the authority to do and the jurisdiction to do as I please. And I want to address the drama. And all the stuff that's been going on, we ain't having none of that tonight. I'm about peace and love because uh, Matt, uh, 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 Dr. P His Excellency, His Royal Highness, Chief President of the Nations, have left all of you all with something before he left here. He said to give the matriotic your due respect and don't oppress me, don't slight me, and don't overlook me. Don't forget the table that you eat off of. When you come to mama's table, you ought to wash your hands Wash your butt. Let's say wash your butt because your hands will be clean if you in the shower or in the bathtub. Wash your butt. Clean yourself up because you coming into mama's house now. And I'm laying the law down tonight for all this masculine energy going on. I feel you. I feel your testosterone is going on. Okay? I even feel it within the women. Y'all, we must transition. We must come home to mama so that mama can show you the way to yourself. And you're looking for leaders and you don't need a leader. You are the leader of your leader. You are the head of your own nation. And that's what he left, is that everybody's been moaning and groaning, oh, Dr. Young. He would be highly disappointed when he gets out. Because y'all have done nothing but argue and fight and do a pissing match on each other. I didn't even know Dr. York until I went to Egypt. 
If y'all understand what I'm saying, turn that down in there. It's, it's peace and love and caring time the way that he would have liked to found this nation upon his return. He had already put in his book way before now what was going to take place and it had me in it. I was shown the book. All I know is that I'm here to do a do a service uh, for this for the nations of people that I sit this seat all over the world. And so if you all can't get with the matriotic system, then this is your time to excuse yourself. Okay? Now, don't overlook me because I'm the hand that's going to feed your black tails and some of your white light in between too. Okay? So when you come in Big Mama's house, you better respect me, daughter. I'm going to sick my son on you. When I'm a guest in your house and you bring mama to your house, you better respect mama and tell everybody mama coming. And you better straighten up your pants and you better straighten up your attitudes out there. Don't I'm going to beat the it out of all of you. Y'all understand what I'm saying? It's time to shift your mindset. Stop worrying about who did what and do why and, and all the all the naysayers. It, it don't matter now. I'm home. You better pay attention to me. Don't pay attention. Don't give nobody your energies. Mama needs your energies to, to shift in love, in harmony, in peace, so that during the release that 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 our president our grand chief can be uh, 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 in a spirit that will usher him to his seat. Now, whatever, who shot Sally and John? You know how your mama used to do, tell you. It don't matter about who shot Sally and John and none of that other stuff. Because mama home now, she going to take rain and she going to guide you to the land of milk and honey. Because only the feminine energy can do that. Now, when I'm talking about feminine energy, I'm not talking about, you know, this, this male and female against each other, okay? We've had enough of the oppression of the choking of the feminine, the, the, the women shutting us up. When if you is standing here on this earth and you were born, you was born of the coochie. You better respect the coochies. Because without the coochies, you wouldn't be here. Respect the womb. And respect that we have, uh, at least I do, have the uh, initiation to initiate the masculine and the particularly the male with the balls okay to usher you to not only to 33 that's reptilian you gotta come all the way up you were born with one leg missing of the chromosome that don't make you any less or make me any better. It's just that we need to treat you in a different manner so that you can come up to your higher self. And the only way you're going to do that is through a woman. You came here through a woman and you're going to leave here through one. Because if you don't come into your higher self, and I'm talking about everybody right about now, if you don't come into your higher self, and, and, and get with your metaphysical side of yourself and put down the body and put down thinking that all this shit is real. It ain't real. I'm not real. I'm just manifest to come and tell you something every 26,000 years. 
And you'll find me in the history of banking, which I'm going to pull up shortly. So y'all just sit back, relax, and stop all this foolishness. There's no need for it anymore. There's no room for that in this realm at this time. Y'all hear me? I don't want to hear no more of uh, anybody got any issues about uh, do as you are or nobody else because we beyond that now, y'all. You feel me? Yes, ma'am. All right. Now, what we're going first uh, is... Um, Go here. The moment everybody been waiting for, so I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a work my way back backwards a little bit, and uh, just go with the flow of things. Let's let's get with the allodial title first, since everybody wants. No, now look, I've been to bring my passport. I meant to scan my passport in so that I could share it on my screen. Where is that, baby? Bring my purse out of my room. Why is why is uh bringing my purse? Here's the lodio title that I hold. It's got the International Court of Justice Judge seal on it. As you can see, the certificate number. Okay, it dates back to May the first, fifteen forty. It was issued to me on July. The uh, 19th, 2019, shortly after that, the, the, the fake pandemic happened, right? Because they know what get ready to happen to them. So as you can see, I could have put this in my name and my name only and walked away and being selfish. Y'all got to get rid of that ego and that selfishness. And the only way you're going to, do that is that you see me demonstrate that you see what would you see mama do the children do so here is the allodial title let me roll it back a little bit so you can see see that certificate of allodial title that trump anything that anybody has done the united states and its entities and whatever else on the land operating uh unlawfully okay i put it into the 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 holder and the beneficiaries is the people of the shalagi cherokee nation pure trust foundation at the recorder of the first republic uh registered foundation which i will share shortly and I'm going to read the allodial title for the record tonight. Are y'all ready? Here we go. Let's spam. Let's go. Let's go. For the record, the allodial title there here uh, resolves all marketable titles and deeds, including bifurcated mortgages. In addition, Certified sovereignty allows the allodial title issuance, making the individual lord and or lady sovereign entitling unto their rightful singular birthright as a human being enjoying the privileges, benefits of the land associated with the allodial title hereof as of the grace by the sovereign himself. One Blackstone's Commentaries 242 Corpus Juris Secordum Abish also is regained in sovereignty and or the freedom of choice in any matter. When a society uses uh, a physical best Evidence. Medium, medium of exchange. exchange. Yeah, I just lost my spot. <laughs> medium of exchange. Money and or marketable titles. 
it is best evidence of a contract's law society. Hence, without a written contract, which is two signatures, a loyal title, the land and the first estate remain in a day a lodium and if the individual if the individual first estate which is the clay temple the physical body has no sovereignty certificate they are mere non-sovereign without an enacted certificate certified sovereignty makes the individual a legal practitioner of his or her privileges, government license issued by the proper government created by the first foundation. Without the privilege of issuing the first foundation written instruments that includes a load of your titles. Let me go back. I lost my place. Without sovereignty certificates, the individual used his and her license in an illegal manner. The Lord Lady Sovereign has the privilege, privilege of issuing trust foundation written instruments that includes a load of titles, proper original land titles, plea and bar and or notification act notice of this honor ucc 3-503 defeating any legal challenge at merit letters of credit money lawsuit redress of grievance liens tax land personal etc letter of regulatory reciprocal response in any issue and not excluding any other legal instrument including the creation of government their laws and all necessary entities thereof and you see it's signed by myself and sir paul his royal highness his excellency lord sir paul anthony simmons of the First uh, Republic Foundation Certified Sovereign Underwriter uh, for this Notary Republic. So you see the international seals signed by me with my thumbprint and the allodial title covers this the certified, the certificate of a loyal title for land property issued by the people of the Shalagi. Shalagi means the original uh, people, not the $5, not the imposters. And that's why I put Shalagi in front of Cherokee to distinguish us from them, which is the Shalagi Cherokee Nation Pure Trust Foundation and fidelity contract with First Republic Registry, certificate number, as you see, 24376533-003, a load of title number, First Republic Pure Trust Foundation, 200719. The Uniform Commercial Code, it's governing international and commercial and pure trust foundation law. The state, the land, the property, corporate entity, location, and description. Listen to the description. Location, Cherokee Nation Indigenous Territory, formerly the state of North Carolina. Statement of case affidavit attached to the title. The Sovereign Shalagi Cherokee Nation. Description. Three million acres of land and indigenous territories located in the southeastern areas of North America and what became known as Virginia throughout the Carolinas, 
to the south, situated within the South Atlantic region between the Appalachian and Allegheny Mountains, Piedmont Plateau, 38.5976 north and 80.4549 degrees west throughout North Carolina to the Atlantic coastal areas of South Carolina, 33.8361 degrees and 81.1637 west. The Shalaga Cherokee territories consist of all organic lands and territories in between used for public, private, residential, commercial usage, inclusive of all natural resources and minerals within those said territories. That means Excuse we me, got say that. Can I, can I say something right quick about this? Yes, you can, because I'm finished. Okay, so this part right here, this is the only land that they were supposed to send settlers to. All of the rest of the land was considered off-limits tribal land that later by force and by treaty, they imposed themselves all the way to the West Coast. So this is the foundational document that reverses all of their settlements that follow. So that's why this is that important. Yeah. Okay, you can continue. All right. So uh, that's that for the public uh, acknowledgement. Now we're going to go to, um, let me move this out of the way. Is that to everybody's satisfaction thus far, young elder? Um, also, you notice here you have what's called the Notary Public for Banking and Redemption because this is taking back Big Mama's bank. The, all of our wealth they couldn't trade, they borrowed Thank money you. against it and created what's called the national debt. Now, when they pay out, it becomes the national de debit to rebuild infrastructure. And this is why it's not necessary for us to point out the banking and redemption. The oral tradition we're doing now is following the redemption process and the paperwork you're reading is securing the banking rights of the First Nations called the organic original tribes of Turtle Island. So that's why it's necessary to pay attention to the notary stamp seal and what's in it. You can continue, Ma. Okay. So um so I have the banking redemption seals. Uh uh, that was bestowed upon me upon me receiving uh, the book. Uh, I do have the same Notary Republic Banking Seal Redemption, and I will get into that shortly. Now, let's go to the deed of trust and the affidavit of the matriotic claim that uh, gives me the... Uh, Authority to hold these things because of my bloodline. Now, here you see what is in the trust is, let me go down a little bit. The special deed of trust for common law pure trust, the people of Shalagi Cherokee Nation Pure Trust Foundation. Instrument number 2437-6533-002, executed on July the 19th, 2019. This special deed is set out for the purpose of cleaning the intent, subject matter, and parties in reference to the privately held, clear, common law, pure trust, the people of the Shalagi Cherokee Nation, Pure Trust Foundation, 2437-6533-001, Declaration of Trust for Beneficiaries. Number one, this common law, Pure Trust, is established on the 19th day of July in the year of 2019 by the exchanger and grantor 
a woman, my name, born name, Sharon Victoria Wilson, a certified sovereign as Her Excellency Empress Chakra Rare Bird Nigrant doing business as Sharon Victoria Wilson in all caps family name. So that the trustee expressed herein can distribute the benefits of the trust property to the beneficiary. The people of the Salagi Cherokee Nation state in keeping with all the provisions and conditions contained within the annexed declaration of a common law pure trust contract privately held. Let it be known that this common law pure trust is created and established by fidelity ceremony and pure trust certificate 2437653-001 and let it be known, number three, that the beneficiary, the people of Shalagi Cherokee Nation is the is detailed in the annexed documents of this trust and presented by a man at that time was Kirvin Lamar Lockett, certified sovereign as Chief Lightfoot, doing business as Kirvin Lamar Lockett of Tennessee. Subject matter, number one, originating property. Can you hear me? Yes. I can hear you. Ain't no sound coming through. Oh. We can hear you. Can you all continue to hear me? Just nod your yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you clear. I can hear you too, Rod, but yours real low. Yeah, but I can hear y'all now. I can hear everybody. Okay, so we're going to the subject matter. Number one, the originating property. A, 100 units of beneficial interest. B, the pure trust certificate of the Shalagi, of the people of the Shalagi uh, Cherokee Nation Pure Trust Foundation 2437653-001. C, a certificate of sovereign state of the, the people of Shalagi Cherokee Nation sovereign state. 2437-6533-004 and D, the Cherokee Nation Indigenous Territory with property, a loyal title number F, First Republic Registry, uh, Pure Trust uh, for the Shilagi Cherokee Nation is 190719. And of course, at that time, my palace was at the residence, which that is changed. So don't disregard that for right now. Number two, any and all property of any nature which has been transferred or paid to the trust or acquired by the trust and all income, earnings, profits, and gains from the trust property where all rights, interests, legal and equitable titles are claimed by the exchanger, grantor, and then transferred by the exchanger, grantor to the trust. Number three, the people of Shilagi Cherokee Nation Pure Trust Foundation uses the trust fund to provide funding for humanitarian projects in the areas of social enterprise, education, community development, health, infrastructure, geopolitical endeavors, research and development, and primary banking. So we can have our own bank. The appointed trustee is a man, Renard Stuart Moore, certified sovereign as Chief Rael, doing business as Renard Stuart Moore, you will meet him eventually when we go and pick up uh, Chief and His Royal Highness Malachi York. The transfer 
of the instrument and the trust corpus property is acknowledged by the trustee, undersigned, and binds the trustee to the trust declaration. The original documents are delivered to the trustee and copies of all documents are sent to the sub subsequent trustee and managing directors. As you can see, I am the exchanger and the grantor in my birth name, as well as the trustee in his birth name and signed off by the notary with the banking seals. Now, here is the other part of my powers that I can exercise as the matriarch for the nation, the nations. Uh, this is from the First Republic. The, the uh, Uniform Commercial Code is governing private international commercial law. And next to the instrument 2437-6533-005. This is to certify and confirm Her Excellency, Empress Chakra Rarebird is the head of state and the senior national of the sovereign Shalagi Cherokee nation state, whereas she is naturally ordained, qualified, and related by pure blood matriarchal descendancy on this day of the 19th of the seventh month in the year 2019, and also to certify the statement of case affidavit 2437653-005, notarized by His Excellency, His Royal Highness, Lord Sir Paul Anthony Simons, exchanger and grantor and certified sovereign underwriter of the First Republic uh, Foundation and official notary public of the Sovereign International Court of Justice and the Sovereign International Criminal Court of Justice. And again, there is the proof in the pudding, my signature as Senior National and Sovereign uh, Shalagi Cherokee Nation. Okay. And there you have the international court seals and the judge's seal to the document. Here is a sovereign state certificate that makes me the, the state holder in due course on this land, I'm the only sovereign state there is on this planet right now. The rest of them are non-sovereign states that were created by the entities all over this planet. So that's why I hold the seat for the earth right now. Now, uh, to save time, uh, this bottom part right here reads the same. Uh, 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 so, do I need to read the read that read the certificate for the? You got much time as you need. You can take all the time you want. We got. I got all night. But because it's the same information, just so the seals. Okay. This is all of the seals and the signatures that verifies the, or that validates the paperwork. And I do want to see, let you know, let me make it a little bit bigger. Right here, under the people of the Shalagi Cherokee Nation sovereign state, it says the sovereignty of the people of the Shalagi Cherokee Nation is ordained by their natural indigenous birthright. That is what you need to know. So I have a right to issue birth certificates, 
and anything else that I see deemed not proper for our people to navigate. Now, let's go back up here so that you guys can see that it's real. So I'm going to stroll down and you see the seals. <clears throat> and what it covers is the same as what I read in the deed of trust in the allodial title. And it covers the same territory as I read earlier. By royal decree. of sovereignty. And there you have the seal of the judge that was sealed in Egypt. And there, my apologies that that was cut off when I was scanning, but it's there. Okay? It's the same as this one. I scanned it twice. Okay. Now, let's move to uh, uh, the uh, as it relates to this is uh, this is the actual claim uh, that has uh, uh, all the tribal information and the claim against the United States and what they've done uh, from their very uh, creation, okay? And let me uh, do this right here. I'm gonna move this to this side. Okay, so I wanna touch on this right quick as it relates to, uh, if, if you guys can see this, it's about number 57, which is Naya, which is uh, Mal Melchizedek. Yeah, yeah, Melchizedek. Uh, that's not Dr. Malachi, Naya Melchizedek, York L. Yeah. Uh, the size of the pyramids, Tamaray, because in London, that's where the address is that holds the First Republic address is at Tamaray. And that's why he named it in was it Tamaray and Edenton? Yep, it was Tamaray. That was the the headquarters, head of state. Okay. That's what they talk. That's what they're talking about. This is why he he built the uh, the replicas of the pyramids and show the tribes that we were the original mound builders, and we still can do it with wood and nails the same as we did in building it with mortar back in the day. So he was demonstrating our ability to functionally rebuild a community in spite of being in opposition by the government. He mm -hmm. still built his community. And and these are the footnotes of the actual claim. Uh, the, the claim is ready to go uh, to where it needs to go. Uh, and at some point I will have to read the whole claim, but for tonight, I just want to touch on uh, what uh, was said in the claim that uh, solidifies uh, uh, Dr. York's uh, position. So let me go back up. Go here. I want to start right here. Um, uh, the indigenous nation, uh, South, uh, Southeastern territories, people, peoples and, uh, population in reference here are the improperly, uh, tribal members known as the Yamasi Creek, Seminole, and Washita Mound Builders. Their initial contact 
with the early explorers have been shrouded in many misconceptions, rewritten stories of a unilateral perspective, and the names appellated to characterize our various tribes, distinctive uh, endemics, and locations of our towns and population. These early classifications and characterizations were done solely for the purpose of identification of the diverse tribal characteristics. Now, I'm going to be skipping around some to just uh, the highlighted portion of this. It says the sovereign state territory reference in this section for the purpose of classification is the uh, uh, excuse me, demarcated uh, line early. Literally. Literally. Literally, excuse me, by, na by nature's design, natural rivers, mountains, ranges, and creeks, and other natural identifying borders. These territories were respect while the exercise of the cultural sovereignty distinguished our tribal nations' practices uh, from other nations, our tribal families consisting of also of the Washita mound builders, whose science of mound building is a direct reflect of sciences of the pyramids and uh, let me see pyramids passed down from our ancient, our ancient ancestral oral traditions, and I and that's why I wanted to point that out that uh, my son was talking to you all about the oral traditions and written information. Uh, in uh, addition to the DNA encoding intelligence and other factors of the genealogical traits inherited from generation to generation working in tandem with nature and our nation's uh, natural environment, which nurtured ourselves in combination, resulting in the growth of Aborigine, indigenous people of Muskegee Nation, directed and guided by the law, by the laws. Somebody's trying to chime in. There we go. So, um, so I'm going to move down a little bit, if I may, because I want to get to Dr. Malachi York. Uh, part in this. It was well written for such a time as this. Okay. So in here, uh, it describes the, 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 the nature's God to be the Musbatu. Is that the way you say it, son? I'm trying to see where you at because it's kind of small on my screen. But well, that's too okay. big. There, bro. Right there. Musbatu. Right where yeah. my. Yeah, Musbatu. Yeah. Manifest in the various form, forms of existence. That in the uh, Declaration of the United States of America, not the United States, okay? The United States of America, the authority granting the right of independence was entitled by the God of nature or nature's God established separate and equal station under the laws of nature. For reference to the framers, Discussion pertaining to reliance on the idea of the laws of nature, the works of John Adam, delegates in the Continental Congress of 1774, books for libraries, press, Freeport, New York. Now I'm going to go to our chief black Thunderbird Eagle president, Malachi Z. K. York was guided here by ancestors 
to renew our story as the indigenous people of this territory. Our family tribes are inclusive of the Yamasee, Cree, Seminole, Shoshone, Washita, Choctaw, Chickasaw, Okon, Yupchi, Wichita, Appalach, Apat, well, Apau, Apache, Appalachi, Appala uh, Appalachi, excuse me, and then that's Apache, uh, Chiola, and the Chist, and the Chia, and the Quail, and uh, Hitchi, 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 Kashita, mm -hmm. Okomoki, Yep. Oh, Sochi. So, so Shawnee. Shawnee. Tama Lee. <laughs> yeah. To, to move. Come. Mm -hmm. And uh, Yama Pro. Yep. The United Native Americans of Georgia speaks. We the people. We the people. Edition one. Volume okay. one. There you go. Thursday, March 1999 A.D., our continually seated and sovereign grand commander, President Dr. Malachi Z.K. York L., Chief Thunderbird Eagle, is a pure American Yamasity ambassador to the United States. An ambassador extraordinaire, his diplomatic credentials was held as a piv as pivotal in successful, I can't, it's, it's a little bit too small. Can you make it okay. a little bit bigger? Yes, I can. Whoa, that's too big. <laughs> I want to keep it on the screen, so I, uh, let me see where we was at. Okay, hold on. Let me, let me uh, make it a little bit bigger. Is that better? Um, let me try to turn my phone and okay, see. Okay, hold on. Let me. Okay, make it back like it was. Okay. I might be able to see it now. I... Okay. Um, where was we at? Right, right there. Yeah. Now just slide it over a little bit so I can get the whole paragraph. Okay, hold on. Let me. Oh, there we go. There we go. Is that better? Yeah, I can see it now. Okay. Okay. So it said, uh. Thunderbird Eagle is a pure blood descendant of old York, of the head of the York clan, the father of being York, the first Native American Yamasee ambassador to the United States, an ambassador extraordinaire. His diplomatic credentials was held as pivotal and successfully assisted United States in Native American negotiations of rights of passage and trade amongst Western Native nations as he held rights to tribal status, fathering many Native American children and my good nigga York, who left his seed in every tribe across the continent. Re referred to for a clearer, precise formation, Robert B. Betts in search of York. And that's the uh, print press and all that. Being York, of the Lewis and Clark expedition, Black Bear, a Washita Moor, who had several wives from different various sister tribes, in, particip in particular, and Susan Bean was a Seminole, Yamasi. Bean York also married a Massachusetts, Nancy Littlebird, and Blackfeather, a Yamasi Mandan Arikara, who gave birth to Blackfeather. A Yamasi Kiowa Moore, the mother of Diane Fletcher, a Yamasi Kiowa Moore, born in North Carolina, of the course being York's marriage to Sajawea and of the Lewis and Clark expedition giving birth to Washaki, a Shoshone Washita Yamasi Native American chief whose tribal family is an ethnically identified tribe in our state. And Sunbeam, the Seminole Yamasi, gave birth to Mary Miller, a Yamasi, Massachusetts, who is grandmother of Mary Kerry York Fatima, the sunflower child, a Yamasi, Massachusetts, 
March 10, 1924, August 4th, 2012, the Supreme Mother of Lone Male named York Maku, Chief Black Thunderbird Eagle Malachi Z.K. York, June 26, 1945, still living, a Yamasi, Massachusetts, Washita native of the Creek Nation, a blood relative to Empress Verdiasi, Tierra Washita, Turner Galston L. Bay, born May 14, 1927, who at the time was still living, a Washita D. Dungdemania, the daughter of Lulian Garrison Daniel, who was the daughter of Yaiamiya, a Washa woman, the wife of Old York, Yusuf Bin Ali, a.k.k. Ibn Abdullah. So this was going through the matriarchal bloodline descendancy of Dr. Malachi that's showing why he was appointed president of the nations by blood and by right. And that's the highlight of the claim. Uh, this is a uh, document that was given to me while I was in Egypt to uh, help with the orders as to now that I had the the matriotic uh, seed that uh, we could move forward with uh, having him released because of his status. And that is the, that, that's the, that's the meat of everything, but everything else in this claim uh, that led up to what we're talking about here is written in this claim that I hold. So and, you have the jurisdictional authority to order his release. All you got to do is to order the um, Department of Justice working on behalf of the Bureau of Prisons to order his immediate re release and they'll contact his designated contact person for them to make the arrangements for his release. And they have to respond in a reasonable amount of time. According to the legal traditions, it would be between 48 and 72 hours for them to give some kind of viable response to your order as the matriarch of the land to release Dr. York so that we can go about putting the tribes back together. That's part of the continuity of government. We in what we call reconstitution phase. And we need the president of the tribes, of the Yamasi tribe, to assist you in organizing the rollout of our new system of government that is to come as a result of removing the legal fiction as our overseers in violation of natural law. Mm -hmm. So uh, understand that everybody's been fighting about who gonna be the one. Well, ain't no uh, doubt about it, I'm the one. Okay, so we're going to squash all that fussing and fighting and all that shit, okay? And being the one is not a glamorous uh, uh, job as people have been led by their egos to want to be the one. You can't have ego and be the one. You just got to have in your mind to serve and have no uh, uh, ego attached to the assignment. That's why nobody else can get it. Because everybody want to be the one. And I never asked to be the one. Because the one have to have a mind to serve. Roll up your sleeve. Eh? I'm not here for anybody to worship and bow down to me. My job is to bring you back to yourself. And if that's going to take uh, what it takes for me and, and Dr. York and, and please son tell them the order of, of, of chain of command please for which particular for the structure as it relates to uh, uh, Dr. York and myself so you are the head matriarch of the collective matriarchs of the land and he is your masculine assistant for the father's side. That's why he come out of the blue house. The women are creator guys, the men ruler guys. The men are empowered by the women to perform their functions as chief. And it is because these orders that we 
going over today, these instructions that Malachi be activated. That means that his position, he have to come forth to fulfill his function as the chief, as the president of the tribal collective. He was the one that the matriarch selected and you signing off on him in issuing his release orders. They have to perform. Right. It's non-negotiable. And, and, and every I need everybody to understand that uh the matriarchic seat runs everything. So those of you all that think you're gonna uh oppress and and shut me up, you better think again. I've been telling them that the matriarch was returning. That we was throwing the great law. We was putting the great mother back on her throne for five years now. It took me five years of receipt dropping to give them enough information and to build the credibility of my receipts so that when we come to this day, the ones who've been with me will already know that this is us reclaiming what's rightfully ours. We're not asking for no favors because don't nobody had no favors for us. We're not asking for no handouts. We just asking what's already ours. We ain't even asking. We telling them what's ours, run that right now, and it's non-negotiable. And now we look for specific performance on the side of the legal fiction that's folded. Okay, son. Uh here's the here's the other part of the of the claim, if you if you would. Where do you want me to start at? Uh, our constitutional, our constitutionally seated and sovereign grand commander, President Malachi Z.K. York, Chief Black Thunderbird Eagle, is a pure blood descendant of Old York and head of the York clan, the father of being York, the first Native American Yamasi ambassador to the United States. And ambassador, this is repeating what I just read. Okay, that's the same one. I'm just okay. saying the same thing. Okay. Uh, then uh, everybody ought to uh, just uh, calm down mm -hmm. and let this happen. Okay? Just calm down. Now, I'm going to uh, 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 come off my screen for a minute until I can find the uh, what I'm looking for. So, uh, if you would, while I'm... Uh, looking for what I'm looking for, um, son, to uh, speak a little bit for me until I can pull up what I, the last little bit of information that I think everybody should know. So I'm going to give y'all a little recap of some of the redemption process that we had to do as the collective nations. We had to reclaim the 10 square miles called Washington, D.C., by erecting a totem pole that restored the uh, embassy of the legal fiction back to the tribes to have jurisdictional authority over D.C. You can look it up on YouTube. They travel from um, the West Coast all the way to D.C. and erected the totem pole in 2017 in order for us to assert our jurisdiction within the 10 square miles. Because the tribes that are involved are non-treaty tribes, it goes to uh, the Department of Defense because it becomes a national security issue that they have to contend with. So all of the um, all of the tribes have selected different chiefs in order for us to exercise the process of reclaiming what's ours. So once they erected that totem pole, now they can do business under the Indigenous Rights Act of the United States, the Indigenous Rights Act of the United Nations, and the uh, continuity of government, FEMA, is a process that they can interact with the Department of Defense and Department of National Security in order to secure the tribal rights as we dismantle the corporate and legal fiction because they knew that it was coming. So they erected the totem pole. We also had to find on our land 
the head of the legal fiction, which was called the Pope, and put him on public notice. This was done by a young lady up in Canada named Sipico. And she put him on notice, and his response to her notice was to rescind what's known as the discovery doctrine. As I mentioned earlier, the discovery doctrine, doctrine is the foundation for all colonization of the European nations around the world. So once he rescinds that, then everybody's stuff is up to be returned. So um, the Pope rescinded the discovery doctrine. Then another thing that a lot of people missed when I was telling them that we had to reclaim City Hall was the um, ceremonial Muscogee Creek Nation went in on behalf of the spiritual Muscogee Creek, which means the originals, to put Atlanta on notice to cease and desist operating on the land. If you don't know what that means, that's because Atlanta was the gateway to the Louisiana Purchase that they used and to set up the Trail of Tears and to settle the interior of the land. Remember, the document that she showed y'all, it was to show y'all the extent of what they was allowed to settle, and they went beyond that and violated that treaty. Once they violated the treaty, then we have two options. We can order specific performance, that means go back to the treaty and abide by the agreement, or we can offer a cease and desist, which is you couldn't uh, do business according to the treaty, so now you got to go. But we they was killing off all of our chiefs that had the blood right to send them packing before they got the opportunity to decide what was going on on the land. So uh, also, and um, it was another one. Oh, there was ancient uh, Hopi prophecy that already told y'all the ancestors said that America would come and America would go, right? So we didn't understand that America was never supposed to be a permanent governmental structure for the tribes of the land, but it was just the interim structure put in place in order to uh, allow us the opportunity to rebuild and reconstitute the tribes after the war, after the ceasefire of the war, when we went into the sleep state the Kingu spell in order for the chiefs to discover if they from this side of the water or the other side. So you had the M-U-U-R Moor and the M-A-U-R-I Moray who went in under the catch term M-O-O-R Moor into this war for information. And the information they was looking for was to be break the conflict between morals and dogma, which was the blueprint by Albert Pike of the uh, game plan. And the doctrine that they was operating under the doctrine of discovery, the discovery doctrine was called the white man's burden, popularized by a poem by Rudyard Kipling called the white man's burden in which they was to spread Christianity and conquer the world for Emperor Constantine in the name of the cross. In turn, they needed a backstory because people was questioning the doctrine. They created what we call Hebrewism or Judaism as a backstory for the Christian doctrine that they wrote to control the masses of the people and then they couldn't use those two doctrines to control the people of the Middle East. So the Catholic priests wrote in secret the Quran in order to uh, conquer the people of the Middle East. This is the death of the religions, the restoration of the great mother, the restoring of the divine feminine, that sacred Shakti, and putting everything back in its proper balance on the planet. And it's a situation is as above, so below. If we won't have it on earth, we have to work for it. It's not free. Just the work that we doing 
to redeem the people of earth from the various forces that came from other places with the intent to oppress, undermine, and demean the earthborn. This is why I'm making sure that they understand that I'm organic to the earth. I'm walking Mississippi red clay dirt. Adoma, the ruddy red one. Edom, the rightful heir that they usurp. But now that we know who we are, we know who they are, and we know the difference in the two, thanks to Neely Fuller, we had a codified counter-defense doctrine that was finally laid down for us to use to fight the enemy and to win at the game they was playing on us. They was playing checkers in Queensland on a chessboard. So we ran them flying kings out. They say they flying kings, but they really floating kings that came on the high seas as pirates of the Caribbean as they exploited the peoples of the islands. And they fought us to war as conquistadors and Spaniards in Florida and allowed the French to usurp us in the New Orleans um, purchase, the Louisiana purchase, which was the port of New Orleans, which was our original intake for foreigners before they go into the rest of the land. They had to be educated by the women of the South called the Big Easy the ENO New Orleans. You had to go there to be seasoned and taught how to behave on the land unless you be a victim to the people of the land and treated as the imposter you is. So after the war, the point of entry became New York under the European rule. And under the European rule, the empire was set in the state of New York in the Manhattan Purchase. This was the undermining of the Shinnecock nations. Shout outs to ODB, right? So all these things was put in as obstacles from us ever reclaiming our rightful position on the land. As pretender to the throne with the blood and the right, and I issued the order on the 6th to cease and desist all foreign operations on the land, 13 days later, on the 19th, did that. That's the Queen Mother seal on the sacred seal of 19 in the in the month seven right in the seal on the 19th of the stone rolling it's all coded in the numbers and it's coded in the stars and it translates into english if you know how to read the signs that's the only way that you would know the times and that's the only way you would be able to execute the agenda Shout out to Farrakhan for telling me time dictates the agenda. Because this is the time and the agenda is the restoration of the tribes. And we go back to performing as tribes on the land. We have to start rebuilding. So, um, thank you. So, as you can see, I've switched hats. <laughs> Not hats, but you see, I, 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 I've got my widow's, uh, uh, help me out, son. That's the feds. That's right. I'm the master mason. So just recognize. And for y'all don't know, because the Masonic Lodges was operating on our land, we had to take them over like we had to take over everything else. They wasn't going to give us nothing. These is just the receipts that we took them over to. They are. Just to verify. Eastern star, the star from the east, the divine feminine. And realize that I'm. Uh, uh, it's gonna take a, a another man to validate, not so much uh, to me, but to you all, who the master mason is. I already told him. Tell him because again. Because at the feet of the master is the student, and from the lips of the mother, wisdom flows to the head of the babes. 
So if the master is the one that you sitting at the feet of and wisdom flows off the lips of the mother and land on the heads of the babes, who's sitting in the chair? That's big mama seat. Now, that's what now that my son is verified, his mom that's the highest badge on the land. Got the feathers. And it's got empress in there. Okay. Now, what a few more receipts. Where's the uh, my um uh, passport? Uh, yeah, did I? Oh, here it is. Just to verify and clarify, you can't make this stuff up. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. That's your passport, ain't it? Yep, that's my passport. It's got Egypt. That's when you went to go get the paperwork? That's right. So just wanted to uh, make sure that everybody know. If you don't know, here's my passport with the stamp in it. That's what I was telling y'all that 13 days after I gave the order, they gave her the papers. Yep. Everything that I did according to the oral tradition, they gave her the papers that they was holding in secret to keep us working for them. I've been you to just South made Africa. Cough them up. Here's the uh, South Africa. Somebody came to see me while I was there. Mm hmm And let's go to London. I don't know why London's so light, but it's there. You can't hardly see it, but it's green. Can you change yourself to the main person on the screen instead of the screen share so they could see you, just you? Oh, okay. That'll help them to see your uh, your badges better. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so this, this we can barely see it, but that's, that's London. I don't know why yep. it was so light. I that's when... You is that when you, that's where you met the Rothschilds to get the uh, Aloydio title, right? Uh, that's where I went to meet with them uh, to talk about uh, Dr. York. Oh, about the International Court? Yes. And let me go back to Egypt since. Mm hmm Okay. And uh, South Africa, someone came to see me there. And the badge, I have martial badges as well. They're all in my possession except for one, the, the, the marshal who would be accompanying me to pick up Dr. York. But this is my badge. As you can see, the Empress. Can you see that really good? Mm-hmm. That's right, that banner on the top. Yeah. And so uh, the other badges are Marshal and Deputy Marshal badges. I can deputize who I want, when I want, for whatever reason I want. Okay. In the in the banking codes was gave to you yes. um, by by based on your DNA spread, right? That's correct. And I'm getting ready to share the screen now to finish that up. 
So here's my International Court of Justice seal. Uh, our nation has our own International Court of Justice that I'm authorized to uh, use, as well as theirs, the blue seals. That's my notary seal. That's my banking seals. My banking redemption seals. Now, let's go to uh, uh, the, the uh, First Republic Registry to verify for those who still don't believe, there you see my name is the third under Mr. Alvin Ho. He is, if you look at the, uh, uh, I'll go back to the uh, to the release papers in a minute, but he his name is on the release papers, brother Alvin Ho. He long. Oh, Dr. York read these papers? Yes. Mm. Okay. And there you see my name here. Her Excellency, Her Royal Highness. And I'm an exchanger right up under the judge. Right here. I got receipts. Okay. And that's the that's the uh judges. He has the digital currency and uh and so these things are uh are valid valid as to as it pertains to myself. Okay, so the history of banking is the last receipt that at least uh, that needs to be shown. So give me a minute and let me get there. Okay, so this is hidden from the public eye. You'll get a lot of other stuff, but you won't get the truth. So we're gonna go down to page 21. Just kind of stroll through here. This the Rothschild and the Truer and Associate LTD. And this is the history of banking. And we're gonna go down to page 21. So I'm gonna stroll pretty quick. Here is the Interpol, the picture of uh, the folks who are working behind the scenes to clean the stuff up as it relates to this banking fraud that's going on. Just know that sometime after she leaves with everything back where she probably came from, Jawa. There she established the courts of what later becomes known as Solo Jawa. They're safeguarding the gold assets, King Solomon's bloodline, and the religious traditions of his court. And I'm going to go on down to where... You will find me on page 21 of the History of Banking. I'm just going to go there. All right. So we're talking about a breeding blood uh, 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 breeding program. And so the legends of a shadow power behind the scenes called the Illuminati has long flourished in the West. 
This may be how it started, 1200 to 1300 A.D. Queen Roro Kadul, a beautiful illuminated being, she literally shines up a room and never grows old, marries the king of Solo. She promises to protect the kingdom and return when needed. Her descendants takes the name of Chakra Nigri, the illuminated one. That's for the record. And we're talking about the uh, 128 uh, royal families. Uh, uh, which started the breathing program to breed us back into where we are now. Yeah. All right. That's why everything is based on DNA and blood rights, because part of the program was for certain bloodlines to rise from the bottom back to the top to close out the age. That's correct. So as we went through the chapter of misery, as is written in the circle seven, the chapter of misery closes with the last that was at the bottom of the system now being made first at the dawn of the new age. Yeah. And so we had to rise from the bottom in order to restore our seats at the top and reclaim what's rightfully ours by birthright. And 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 for those who still don't believe, this is my last receipt I'm gonna give you. Because I'm not here to prove nothing to nobody. I don't care whether you uh, believe me, or uh, uh, whatever it is, you know, you're entitled to your own opinions, but I'm here to do do what I came here to do, just like my son and everybody got their role. So there's no big eyes and little you. I just so happen to be the one to work, be in this role that I'm in right now because of my DNA. And I'm not talking about ancestry DNA, where they you go and put your spit in whatever and send it off to that. This ain't yeah. kind of parties, okay? This is this is in Philadelphia, uh, genetics clinic. As you can see, the LMX one B. These are uh, I'll explain those uh, shortly, but I want you to pay attention to the nucleotides, which is important. And though you will see the DNA codes of 138, and if you if you unscramble that with letters, it's the ACH. So no doubt, no diggity, no doubt that I'm here for the banking redemption part. And that is the the the, the what is it the uh the clearinghouse. The, what is it? The um, auto, you know, they say automatic clearing house. Yeah. So this the banking codes goes back to a, a video I did on Facebook, um, and it was uh about how to use the banking system to redeem them. It's called the Trillion Dollar Buyback Program. For anybody that want to watch it, it's on Facebook under Rod Hayes, the Trillion Dollar Buyback Program was me giving them instructions to reclaim the banking code so that you can access them from your end. Cause I have to do the work in the public domain first, and then they have to give you the paperwork that verifies that I expose what to do. That's correct. And so here it is uh, with the Exxon number two, and then you will go down and, uh, and pay attention to the uh, second the background and uh and and the second uh line which is a uh which says the nail patella syndrome is a uh dominantly inherited disorder characterized by dysplasia of the nails uh hypoplastic or absent patella a characteristic uh bony projection from the iliac wings. Iliac, iliac wings. Iliac wings. So I have wings, and they try to hide them in the in the report, but they're there.
the reference to what she's just talking about that you want to read is the Black Woman, the Original Guardian Angel by Barra Shango. And as you can see, my birthday is four, five, six, seven, so that I could come and reach in and break that loop of the uh, the cycle, so that, that we can bring you all through the portal, so that you can come on back to seven, six, five, four, three, two, four, three, two means back to love, the frequency of love and caring. And then you come on back to the one and the zero because that's all there is. You're the source and you came from the womb, which represents the zero. So that's all that should have ever been is you as source coming uh, from, the, uh, from the ethers, which is the womb of the melanated woman. But the 38 ends G is why I hold... The G, which is the Master Mason seal. You just went off the screen, uh, Empress. Okay. Did I go? Well, can everybody else see me? We can see you now. Okay. So the G has to do with the G in the uh, in the nucleotides, which is under the banking codes, and that's what you're looking at. And in the science, G is the seventh letter made. And rock him say, born with three sevens in my head. That's the third seven, the seventh seed of the seventh seed of the seventh seed, which is me, which reveals who Hiram is in order to produce who the Black Madonna is in the shrine. And to lift the veil is to bring the Black Madonna from the shrine and present her to the public for public scrutiny of the receipts that proves the ver and verifies our position of first birthright to the earth rights and the execution thereof. And last but not least, Dr. York hid this in plain sight we're talking about systems and uh without being too deep about it. We're talking about, uh, we're talking about a system that's ushering into from the UMA system to the NUMA system. And so uh, these are uh, the difference between the NUMA and the uh, UMA system. Let me uh, go down and uh, get the one that I want so it could be more visible. Because if y'all like me, uh, I, I, I like a visual thing. I can learn a lot quicker. It's interesting because one of uh, Malachi's daughter's name is Uma. Uma there York. You there you go. So, uh, and my, uh, um, it was coded in my birth certificate, the Numa. And that's why the pineal gland is actually a computer chip that we all have without going into a lot of details. And so these are programs that, uh, that we, uh, had to uh, endure in nature. So uh, Uma compared to the Numa is where we are right now. Numa. Uma. And that which is old shall be made new, and the old mother shall be the new mother. Numa. That's correct. And you see the tree in hierarchy? 
This is the banking system. We've been in a limited position, and that's why he named her Uma. And coded it in my birth certificate under under uh uh which is on my birth certificate to identify that I had the banking code in my DNA. And I was to be cloaked until such a time as this. So we got it's a color, it's a color co coded uh chart. Uh, which uh, I can uh, just quickly show you. And uh, by the way, it's non-uniform memory access. So all y'all out here running around, I need access it. I won't access it. Well, this is what you are, are needing to get access to is your memory chip. So you can you can remember. Which is taking us from AI four point quantum encryption to a higher consciousness. The uniform is the uniform system or codes. They call it uniform commercial codes. Commercial means for financial gain or for business enterprise. So when you go from the NUMA, then or from the UMA to the, the NUMA, you go from the uniform to the non-uniform, which is abstract logic, which is the feminine right brain in all of our psychic impressions and messages from source comes in through the right brain anterior gyrus. And it is processed through the, I mean, through the pineal gland as a computer encryption system downloads it into your cerebral cortex to be assimilated to the ones who learn to read their higher consciousness, which is your psychic abilities that they told you you was insane if you access. Thank you, son, for, for breaking that down. So y'all got work to do. You all have time to be arguing about, you know, these distractions that you better pay attention to what we're saying to you all. If y'all want access, you got to get your mind right before you even think about what you getting access to and what you need access to is your ram your memory that's encoded in you and the only way that you can do that you got to let go of the physical you and get into you that have the the codes which is sitting between the the brain the brain that goes in that's blocking the memory because the memory chip is inside the brain and the brain is operating on the subconscious memory, which is programmed from the system that they uh, programmed us to, uh, to forget and to be something less than what we really are. That's the artificial ego creation. The artificial ego is the... Uh, opinion of everybody else of you that you don't necessarily agree or disagree with you just accepted it the shadow work is the slaying of the ego or what they call the purification of the ego in the mystic circles the purification of the ego is for you to conquer the impressions the world gave you of yourself and access who you really are and let your light shine out in this world and so with that, here you are. This is what you what the what the uh, 5D and up is the quantum system that now you have to you have to shift from the old into the new, into the age of occurrence and come into who you who you really are, which uh it situates the um uh, that uh complements the the ma and the pa. It's not just uh, the other way around of separation, but you're together, whole. The and so you, you can't steal from this system and all that they've been doing in the old system. They're not going to be able to do it in the NUMA because the NUMA is connected to the quantum. And it's based on your deeds of your heart. So you have to get your heart chakra right to interface with the feminine, which is the higher realm with the I.E. soul 
the United States, the U.S. of A is you, Sophie. You're the higher ring. And so you have to stop arguing with your sisters and brothers that don't agree with you. You have to have some, some, some empathy for them because I got two words for you, okay? So this is all I'm sharing for tonight. And I'm closing with this. Let me find my yeah, button. Fine. There we go. You got to uh, uh, stop the, uh, the bickering. Uh, uh, you only fight yourself. And I'm trying to find my, uh, my panel button to let me out. There we go. Okay, so I'm not, uh, some reason, uh, Young Elder, I'm not seeing my button to uh, let me out of the screen. Hold on, just taking me uh make sure. Uh, was you, was you guys able to see my screen? What I was explaining? Yes, ma'am. We see okay. the screen right now. Okay, I'm, I'm I'm I must be out there, and I'm not sharing anymore. No, we we see the screen. You still you sharing it? though? Yeah, right. I'm trying to find where my button is to let me out so I can close with my last words of wisdom to everyone where we are. And I don't know why it's not showing. Oh. Yeah, it still got you seeing your screen. Uh, let me try to take that down. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what did I do? do I would have to. Somebody took over host because I'm not even host anymore. Nah, you still the main host. It's just uh black uh this person right here. Uh yeah, I'm not the host neither. Some uh Who's the host? You the host, I think. Uh it's not showing. I'm not able to even look at and uh when I go on my screen, it it it, it doesn't have the button of me being host anymore. Okay, hold on. Let me look at this because that ain't that's the saying you the host. Somebody is, let me see. Uh reclaim host. Somebody, there we go. All right, let's do it again. There you go. Okay. All right. So uh in closing, in closing, what I what I want to say to everyone is you have to now share mm -hmm. and come back home not only to mama so that you can eat. And do what you need to do when you leave out the house. You know how mama get you ready and you, for life, and you you go out and you 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 enjoy yourself. And you know mama at home and in the kitchen stirring the pots, and everybody come home and have a big feast, and everybody had the chores and stuff to do. And you got your own little space in the house, and you're a part of a big family. When this is what we gonna be. We're not going to be fighting against each other. And you have to forgive your sisters and your brothers because it's not that they're ignorant. They're sick with this plague. And that the ignorance of the law is no excuse for those who knew the law. They take advantage of those who didn't know. And nobody is ignorant. They just unlearn. Okay, uh, in order for you to transition, you got to learn how to forgive and raise the frequency on the planet with love and care. It must return back into your, your circulation of your heart chakra. Your heart is a recorder. It records everything. And if your heart is not right, you will not have access to your memory bank, which is called your Akashic Records. And if you don't shift, because mama telling y'all, if you do not shift yourself into love frequency, 
including myself, because sometimes I want to cut some people because of their damn behavior. And I have to have people to remind me that they just unlearned. And you got to have some compassion because if mama ain't got no passion for you, you're in trouble. And she ain't got no love for you. You ain't got no home to go to because mama ain't being bothered with you. And that's me. So in order to be over here and doing what you need to do to come back into the fold, you must be willing to let go of all the madness that we all have been through. Let it go in order to transition to what is the goodness of the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous. And mom is here to collect because she done sent her son. And I told him to go get my shit. And that's what he doing. That's what he been about his father's business. <laughs> <laughs> and his mama's business. And that I am so grateful. And we love you. We love you, Chief. <laughs> Honey, I'm going to give you your props. Mama, make sure that if it ain't best with your ass, you come and tell mama what you want. And that you shall have. Now, Take one last look at that doggone. Uh, send it back to me so that I can put the the uh the orders back up on the screen, please. And this is the closing. And my son would make the last remarks. I love each and every one of you. I would not be on damn Zoom and no other thing. Talk about this shit no more. So y'all better get reported. So that uh, I don't have to do this again. Because I ain't planning on doing this again. My son is going to be the one that's going to uh, do uh, uh, be handling things. All he's going to do is call me and give me updates. So don't be calling uh, and complaining about him. Because I don't want to hear the shit. Okay? He's going to do what he do. Because he know what he's doing. And mama can rest easy now. And I'm glad. Go he stood to show himself approved. approved. Y'all got me over here blessed like a baby. Well, I love you. And I thank you because I didn't know where to go until I saw you. And I knew uh, then that you was the one I needed to get these orders to. In spite of what happened when I went to try to get him in November. In spite of everything, it wasn't supposed to happen to time. And I ain't mad about nothing no more. But uh, we're here now, and we will to move forward now that we've got the receipt and I've done the oral tradition that we need. Here is, and, and by the way, uh, I do have the original. And if it, and if I don't, they still wouldn't give a shit. They still some damn good. Y'all understand what I'm saying to you? But I got the original. We're not going to argue about little small stuff because the movement is, is happy. So here's the orders one more time. For those who have not seen the orders to release Dr. York, I've had them in my possession since November the 11th. And unfortunately, there was some stuff that was uh, an hour before I was to go uh, popped off and uh it was the stuff that wasn't disclosed to me and the judge and the people in London called me and uh, had a meeting with Dujwa. And, and, and after that, uh, the fallout happened. And then uh, I got the orders and I had to stay three more extra days with Chief Ra to see if we could go down to the federal court to uh, talk to someone about his release. That didn't go well because they didn't want to talk to us. And we, you know how you have a feeling in your gut you need to be getting out of Dodge. <laughs> we got out, we, we went straight to the airport and I came back and these orders have not been seen since then. And I called Chief Raw and told him to bring me the orders on Tuesday and I sent them to uh 
to uh, my son. So here's the orders. For those who have not seen it. And by the way, see them seals right there? They're getting ready to change. The seals that I've got is going to reflect this right here because this controls the whole system. And so I would, once he is released, I'll be changing my seals over to this brown seal. Okay? So that's the protocol. It said who to release him to. I have the authority to go get him. Now that I've got the right help. So all you naysayers out there, just know that these orders are for real. They have the banking redemption seal of Paul. And this was attached to the order that nobody saw on the, on the first video of these orders because my son didn't see them. So uh, per special order of release upon declaration of Shalagi Cherokee Sovereign Nation State, and per order of the International Court of Justice to receive His Excellency Malachi Cabino, Cabina York L. Mr. York on November the 11th, 2019 from the U.S. Supermax Penitentiary, ADX. Penitentiary. Excuse me? Penitentiary. 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 A ADX Florence seat uh, of Colorado into the custody of Her Excellency, Her Royal Highness, Chakra Rare Bird Nigrant, Sovereign Head of State, and Chief Raw Chalagi Chair Key Tribal Marshal to transport to Chalagi Chair Key Nation Territory where he will be monitored by a local tribal authorities at an undisclosed location so he can be handed back to his family, which I'm part of his family, but so that he can touch his children again, and that's my signature. And at the time, my seals had not come yet, so the only seal that I had was my notary seal, which is... Uh, was not made into a notary yet. So I'm going to, if I need to update this part of it, I can, or we can leave it just like that, son. And therefore, I yield. It's already given. The order been given. The instructions been given. Everybody's been put on notice. The tribes are being currently made aware while we're doing this right now to get the information out to the tribes about our reclamation of the land and our birthright to the land and a restoration of the great matriarchy and the reenacting of the great law is the only law that we will be held to abide by from this point forward. So um, all of the chiefs that's held in uh, as political prisoners we should be seeing some response from the government and uh, within seven, 48 to 72 hours. They know who we are. They know what's going on. They're aware of the process, the redemption process. They are aware of my works as they gave you the receipts to verify the work that I was doing to redeem our people from the legal fiction that was operating under the color of law, which was just colorable as law which was the violation of the United States Commercial Code 1984, color of law, where they acted as if they was our official government and all the time they were just a UN peacekeeping force equivalent that existed from the onset of the war with the Gullah in Florida and throughout the Americas and Africa and other places around the world while where they set up colonies under the discovery doctrine of the Pope. All of the um, papal bulls have been override by the organic peoples of the land and to disregard the jurisdictional authority of the Pope and all of his minions that's under him. We are no longer beholden to the crown of England. 
nor the colonizers who came. We are only to answer to ourselves as sovereign peoples across the nation, and we are to do business with ourselves and to rebuild our community and restore our people back to a system that provides for the needs of the people and not provide for the export of substance to foreign nations at our expense and to our detriment. So uh, that being said, young girl, to take us home, baby. Hey, peace. So we're gonna let Deuce make it then. All right, on big. Hey, Mama said, let her make it. Hey, look, hey. Good. All of those, all of the, everybody got to clean their own house. The only person yeah. that can give an order what to do with Dusua, um after this is Malachi. So if Malachi don't say do something to him, ain't nobody supposed to touch him. Right. If well, we he say clean, to... if he if he tell he he got his assigned soldiers when he tell them to clean house, whoever is on the list, they just on the list. That's his house to clean up. It's the same with the Peace Stones and Angel Bay. The Disciple Nation and Larry Hoover, the C Nation and Big Tuki, all of these tribes that was infiltrated, it's up to them to clean their own house. So it's going out. Everybody have to answer for their dirt. Ain't nobody getting out of here without paying for their dirt. And this is for the righteous to receive a righteous reward for their righteous endeavor to unify as brothers of the struggle across the land and redeem ourselves without the need of any foreign agency telling us how to follow our own cultural traditions to redeem the land, we have executed in full the redemption process and the recovery process of tribal territories and holdings across the world. And all of these things is to be surrendered to us eminently in all other things that is irrelevant to us need to cease and desist. So if it's not for the benefit of the collective, we're not finna do it. Right. We're not going against uh our people uh and their 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 uh their sovereignty. Your sovereignty is when you exercise your sovereignty and the word sovereignty means soul reigns. So spirit reigns inside of you first. The spirit came first before the body. It manifests in the body. The body is just a vehicle in which it has the, the uh, spirit. So that's why you got to let go of the world so that you can go back home to spirit and be that that you already are. Right. You don't have to be anything but who you already are. You already came here perfect. You came here to have an experience. Y'all stop taking this damn world so serious because it ain't real. <laughs> I told them. Y'all need to stop jumping in there being mad at folks. It's just an experience. This is skin school. Just enjoy the experience of being here. Stop thinking this stuff is real. You're not real, not even you. You're just in a body manifest uh, from the spirit realm. So stop taking this stuff, literally, y'all. Stop it. Come back to your true div divinity. Get rid of the dogma. Get rid of these this world system in Indian doesn't mean what y'all thinking to get yourself a metaphysical Bible dictionary. Damn it. I'm gonna send my son the uh one online called Trinity Metaphysical. It's got sermons on there from a metaphysical perspective that will tell you what these words mean, and you need to get a bacon uh dictionary. Let me tell you what y'all need to get to get right, okay? Because we got a language problem. We got a communication problem. While they're doing banking and commerce on us, that's why I showed you the history of banking. They're they're doing commerce with uh, our circulation of energy. And they are calculating that up 
Why we even wrestling? It's in that little bag right there that I, I had bought in. And right in that little book. Okay? Warrant don't mean what y'all think it means. That's a war rant. That's an ongoing declaration of war against one and chief. Let me let me go get my bag. <laughs> Uh, that's all right. Yeah, I had it. I did. It's not in that name. Oh, no. no, it's not. So this is what recovery look like. This is what restoration look like. This is what redemption look like. It don't look nothing like we thought it be would be because a revolution will not be televised, but it's sure going to play the fuck out on social media. And so all of the ones who wasn't paying attention, now they can pay attention. And all of the naysayers who didn't think I knew what I was talking about, now they know I know what I was talking about. And when the when the response come on the other side, then they'll be able to understand not only that I knew what I was talking about, that all of this stuff is being paid attention to by the so-called powers that be because they going to act accordingly because they know this to take over. This is the redemption of the righteous. This is the recovery of that which was taken from us without our consent nor our knowledge. <clears throat> so what they did for our demise, I used all of the stones they threw at us to build a motherfucking stairway out of their ditch. Hey, bro, when she get ready to make that play on Baba, let us know. We we could be right there. I got I bring everybody, hundred niggas, two hundred niggas. We we gonna. Mm, yeah. 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 He don't want it like that. Yeah, well, however y'all want to do it. Long yeah. Bob already gave us instructions, and the Bureau of Prisons uh, made sure that we knew what his instructions were. Oh, yeah, were. he already contacted. Right, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, so uh, a lot of people don't know, but the State House was lit up in green yesterday to confirm that Malachi was the one that we was making reference to and that they got the message as to who he was and his position and role on the land. It was right. green. Did y'all get the picture? You got the picture, uh, I can, I can, uh, I can get that picture. Keep on talking until I can pull it up. Yeah. So they gave us both a metaphysical response and a literal response. So they responded in two different manners. So that's what you call in the law, that's called a collateral response. They're using two mediums of information exchange to inform us of what's going on and the accuracy of the information we're delivering. If there's two things, that would be a coincidence. When it's more than that, it's called a triangulation. Give the order, receive two responses. That's three things that forms the triangulation. And you know the triangle is at the top of the pyramid with the eye in the middle. <laughs> okay, so send it to, there it is. Send it to my uh, email so that I can uh, pull it up on the screen, okay? And while he's doing that, y'all get y'all pens and paper together. You got some homework to do. I like giving homework because homework means you working on your ass. Work on yourself. Don't worry about nobody else from this point on out. Work on you. That's all that, that's, that's my assignment for you. Here is the dictionary of scripture and myth by G.A. Gaskell. Get this book. Metaphysics book, dictionary, okay? The next one you want to get, because it's going to clear up your thinking. You got to take responsibility. Now look, in the inside of this book, it, sh it shows you the systems, the world systems, okay? And it reads from right to left. And so the first system that was ever in place was Indian. Indian means uh, from the uh, Atma and the Booty and the Manas and the Kama and the uh, st Stahula uh, realms. The highest of the highest realm. That's what Indian means. Use it. But know what that Indian, the word, that's the power on the planet. I'm an Indian. Okay? 
Now, get this book right here, Banking Terminology Book. You're going to need to know how to navigate yourself in commerce. And I'm telling y'all, some of the, like the word warrant uh, in this book and what it means and what they've been doing to us in regards to a warrant is unbelievable. Get the book and look up. That's the first word you want to look up is warrant. Zero percent. You're gonna you can't live off of just history and 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 all that. You gotta learn how to do banking with your intellectual property. And what's your intellectual property? Your thoughts. Monetize it. You gotta learn how to do that. I can't find the video right now, but I will put it up on my Instagram page later of the green building. What a White House was green. Let mm -hmm. me see if it uh, uh if I pull up by the uh, to me too, bro. I put it together. The White House turning green last night. White House turning green last night. There it is. I'm getting ready to pull it up right now <laughs> and send it to my email so y'all can see it. And what's green, uh, my son? That's the Sufi order of the green light, one of the ancient orders of Melchizedek that Malachi is the high priest of. That's his color, the heart chakra. That's his color, Malachi color. All the Nuwabians know that Malachi color is green. He is Melchizedek, the green one, yeah, Al-Qadir. Now, you back, Coach? Yeah. I hear somebody saying something. I'm waiting for it to come through. The gym. Okay, somebody Remember? needs to mute. What's today, Thursday? Hello. Yeah, we can hear you. Sorry. So sorry. Don't be sorry. So Al Qadir, Malachi, the green one, when he was singing with his group Passion, his song was The Love Man is Back in Love Again. <laughs> the Nuwabians know what I'm talking about, but the other people are like, what is he talking about? <laughs> the Love Man is Back in Love Again. That's the only way to get liberated from oppression. That's last night. Wow. That was the 48-hour response to the release order in Malachi. This is our receipts that verifies her position to give the order and to receive Malachi from the custody of the invaders. It's a negotiation of diplomatic proportions, and that's why the International Court of Appeal was requested to intercede I mean, the International Court of Criminal Justice, because he was he was a head of state kidnapped in violation of treaty agreements between all nations of the United Nations, including those of the Security Council, which the U.S. corporation was not an official member, but they sat on the Security Council and agreed to honor all diplomatic measures, which mean when diplomatic immunity is inserted, or asserted by a person of interest, they must honor the diplomatic status that they ignored when they kidnapped them. Is that correct, Elder? Yep, yep. So they, yeah, they and they're gonna have to repay him all his possessions that they took uh, within like seven or twenty-one days. Like the full payout got to be in twenty-one days, I think. And in seven days, they're gonna have like what they took off from right then when they got them. And the mm -hmm. and the land in Edenton, I've been down there. I didn't. I saw it. I saw it last last summer, and went down there and and uh uh and I inquired about it, and I have the the information 
so that uh, the house can be restored back uh, to him and myself and, and whatever else that needs to be done, that it be done uh, uh, quickly and swiftly. It's got the tree of life on the gate. And the verification of all this is the, this is not just one piece of property. This is the entirety of the holdings of the collective tribes of Turtle Island without, um, without diminishing any part or portion of our asserted rights. Correct. All rights reserved by the tribes. And remember that I have the, the codes of three, one, three, Eight, which is one dash three zero eight. Our rights reserved. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we, we can wrap it up now, right, Empress? We can get oh, everything. Yeah. yeah, get this book too. And it'll tell you everything you need to know. Mainly and the mainly important is you want to get this metaphysical Bible. Uh, so y'all can overstand and get rid of that dogma of religion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. And uh, and uh, the narrow is the gate. Is straight is the way book. It's gonna tell you everything for you newcomers. Y'all need to get this. We beyond this. We already know. But the, those are new journey come lately, folks. You need to get this book so you can know what happened. Okay. And then get your uh uh well that'll be let him get get the claim get the notice of claim trading with the enemy act yep it's in there and the and the uh, legacy registry you get these off of Amazon they don't cost but like uh, I think like ten dollars or so. Get this book right here and get this book right here, Notice of Claim. Can you, can you reshow that first book? The very first one about three, five minutes ago. The Gaskell book? Yes. Yeah. All right. Y'all need to get these books and next time I talk to you all, you better be done doing your homework and look at the, and order these books and look at them because you don't have to read them. You're just going to look through it and you're going to see everything you need to see. This book right here is called The Dictionary of Scriptures and Myth because this yeah. is our people's biggest problem. They can't let go of that religion. Thank you. Okay. Go ahead. And uh, if I may say, you know, usually when we come over Zoom, uh, to know a person is to see a person. So we're not, uh, 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 it's new to us where we uh, talk over Zoom and we don't see who we talking to. <laughs> it's okay. All the people that need to hear it going to hear it and everybody that need to act going to move. That's right. Oh, uh, don't forget your astrology book. That you're gonna need to know uh, who you are, the University of Triology, Trinology, by this man right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Get that book right there, so you know yourself internally and how you connected to the moon and the stars and all the the constellation of the. Uh, the universe. Okay. Wrap it up. Let's go. All right, we thank you for coming on, uh, Rare Empress Bird, the, the, the matriarch on the land. Hey, this oh, is so let me, let me let me straighten out my name for you, okay? Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, when we're in a uh, setting of maybe diplomats, it's Her Royal Highness, okay? Right. I got you. But other than where you call me uh, Mama Redbird. Yeah, Mama Redbird. I like that. Okay. I like that. But when we on official business, her royal highness. Okay. I got you. But other than that, is Mama Redbird. Mama Redbird. Yeah. Y'all yeah. get caught up in titles. Yeah, yeah. We we like Mama. 
Big Mama. All right. All right. So yeah, this right here was good. This right here is a lot. It's like maybe like five thousand people on here. Uh, yeah. So it was a lot of people, and uh, yeah. So we want to thank you for coming on. We thank Rod. We thank everybody, all the participants. Go uh, tell everybody. Go tell it on the mountain. <laughs> Share, <laughs> like, subscribe. And everywhere. Right. I can't say, but y'all know what I mean. Go tell it. Yeah, for all y'all people that's followers of Malachi and you know, love Malachi, this is it. This is what this is what we take. This is what we make the move right here. What we've been okay. waiting. On. Okay, so uh, take us out with the show. Uh, give the people what they want. Uh, give the people what they want. Hey, Rod, you got that, Rod? Uh, uh, no, I think it's going to copyright us, though. It'll copyright us. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. copyright. Well, we, can, we can cut the recording off and we can end on that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, okay. look, so we out. We out. Uh, we're going to be back, though. We're going to be back. We're going to keep you updated on this. Uh, my lights went out. But uh, it's all good. You know, I got hit from the back today trying to do this show by five dollar Indians. Like right when I was coming to do this show, somebody just deliberately hit me in the back, and then I was stuck there for like an hour and a half with the police almost trying to and, and kind of find out the people that hit me they five dollar Indians. So I'm thinking, what was that like? I don't know, man. Wow. Yeah, the people that hit me was five dollar Indians. They they looked at like. Like Asian looking, they look like Native American. You no, know, they look Native like the people they saying that's Native American, but they five dollar Indians. They could have been. They looked at like the Cherokee tribe, like the the fake ones. You from, mean the Mongolians? Uh, huh? You mean the Mongolians? Yeah, the Mongolians. They looked at just like that. And look, they was out there playing crazy, and they were talking in the Native American language and everything. I'm saying, oh, what this is, man? I'm about to go do the biggest tape with the uh with the. Hey, look, before you said that, Elder. Mm -hmm. I told the Empress and I also told a couple more people that I think that the government had that done deliberately to try to interfere with the progress of this message. Yeah. But they just they just proved our position by putting an obstacle up to show us we go in the right direction. Man, because they know uh, way that girl, that that Native American girl is supposed to hit me. Well, she really an uh, uh, American Indian. We the Native Americans. They American Indians. They like our children. Yeah. Yeah, so Let's wrap like, it on up, Elder. Go ahead. I'm about, I'm about to get out of here. Hey, assalamu alaikum, shalom alaikum, hotel, peace be unto you, divine love throughout the boundless universe to all. We out. We'll see y'all later. Why so do? You, Why you do? What they want. Take that thing off record so we can have a good time Leave it up out of here. <laughs> Let's there see. Uh, give the people, give the people what they want. All right. Y'all hear that? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh, excuse me. Give me a second. There we go.